Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how the WPLMS Wishlist plugin works in the 4.0 framework. So first, you'll need to install the WPLMS Wishlist plugin from the from the WPLMS.io site. So this plugin is free and you can download. Upon downloading, you will get a license key which you'll need to put in the LMS add-ons to activate the automatic updates for this plugin. So once you have done that and install the plugin, you can go to the appearance menu section and in here enable the body press option for in the screen options panel. And in the body press, you will see a wish list which you can add to the profile menu. So the menu which is connected to the profile menu location, you can add the wish list to this profile menu and save the profile menu. So once you have saved the profile menu, you can go to the YBP settings and in the body press, you will need to refresh the body press navigation. So once you have refreshed the navigation, you can you will see a wish list icon in the profile menu. And when we click on this icon, we see that we have the wish list. And you'll also see another section which is the collections. So the difference between a wish list and a collection is that the wish list is personal to a member and a collection can be shared on the web for example every collection you see will have a direct link and this particular link can be shared across social networking sites so let's see how this works so first we can edit any course and you'll see that we have two buttons appearing which is add to wish list and add to collections so these buttons you can place it in your course layout template which is maintained by the elementor and you will see that in the course info widget we have the two buttons which is the add to wish list and add to collection so these buttons will only appear if you have the wplms wish list plugin installed so once the plugin is activated you will see these two options in the course information and adding them and you can add these anywhere in the course layout so once you have added them in the course layout you will see that we have the add to wish list and add to collections now these collections are also personal to the member but they are shareable so here you can see I have two collections which is the test and the another collection and this particular course is added in the test collection so it is showing a minus sign whereas to add it in another collection I will need to click on this and it will add to add to to add this course to a wish list I only need to click on the add to wish list and it will add the course to the wish list so let's see if I can locate this in my wish list. So here we can see we have the design dynamics course in our wish list and we can click on the wish list icon to remove this course from the wish list. So let's go to collections and and create a new collection. So we can create a new collection. And here you can add courses directly from here. and you can search for these courses and you can add these courses so here you can see i have added this collection and when i open this i see the description and the courses which are added to this description to remove a course from the collection we need to click on the minus icon and the collection will and the course will be removed you'll also see the tag which shows the number of courses which are available in the collection so this particular tag is also visible on the on the all collections page for the user now when we are viewing the course we'll see that we have the course added in the collection and you can directly add this course to the collection from course screen or 
or you can remove the course from the collection as well so here we have the social media and now we remove this course from the social media collection and we can go to the collections page and here we can see that we have the number of courses tagged as one and only one course is visible in this collection and we can view the collection as a direct link as well that's it from WPLMS tutorials thanks for watching